Hello, this is uh, Deepak and guess what? I'm with my granddaughter, Tara. Tara, say hi to everyone. Come into the light a little bit. <laughs> okay. And uh, we are here. And uh, as you know, about two days ago, uh, we were speaking to uh, Tara's mother, my daughter, <laughs> Malika. And we were talking about these books, Just Breathe. Which, by the way, she spontaneously did, as you did, when you were born. And then what happened after that, you started to just feel. You know, before we acquire language, we feel our way through life. And by the way, even organisms without uh, a brain do that. So microorganisms and uh, trees and plants and um, other species that have no brains, they feel their way. Feeling is a way of knowing. Breathing is living. Then we learn language. And after we, we learn language, you get bamboozled by concepts. And so it's not easy to be just, be you. The sequence is Breathe, feel, reflect, pause, respond. But we don't. We are bamboozled by social constructs. So it's difficult to be you. That's why Malika wrote these amazing books. And Tara is her daughter. So <laughs> Tara, um, do you remember I taught you meditation when you were five years of age? Yeah, you took me, I remember, to the cove in La Jolla and we sat on a bench looking at the ocean and you gave me a mantra when I was five and taught me how to close my eyes and repeat that mantra in my head and I've been doing it for now 14 years. So most of your life since the yeah. age of um, five you've been using the mantra to compete with thought and occasionally diving into the gap which is the field of infinite possibilities. Has meditation helped you in any way? Of course, it's helped me in so many ways. Um, I feel like I'm able to pause. It, the days are so chaotic and it gives me a chance to just breathe, just feel, just be myself. Um, I feel like meditation fosters empathy, creativity, and just makes me a better human being. So there you are, hearing it from a family of three generations of meditators, actually four. My parents also were meditators and of course my grandparents came from the traditions, the wisdom traditions. So you're talking to a family where meditation has been a tradition for a long time. So do um, you remember to pause and just breathe once in a while during the day? I try. Yeah. <laughs> I it's often becomes what I look forward to actually mm. is just pausing. Just okay. pausing. So that that's the key by the way to be aware. Press the pause button, take a few deep breaths, smile, uh, look around, observe and then respond creatively in the moment rather than reacting all the time. That's what exactly it means to breathe. Mm. Breathe is the interface between mind and body, between consciousness and reality. So have these skills that your mother taught you um, been useful now that you are a young adult in college? Yeah, I mean, especially now being a young adult in college during very challenging um, scary times. All of these skills have helped me so much and I've been able to teach them to my friends and together I think it just, it um, reminds, at least for me, it gives me a chance to kind of reflect upon what's important and take time to just breathe and um, take my mind off of maybe other more stressful things. So how's it going? I mean, you just 
you're now in college. How is it going? What is, what do you think uh, your peers, you know, your classmates um, are most stressed about in general, you people your age? I mean, there's so many things, right? Like family, making sure that loved ones are safe and healthy. Um, I think thinking about jobs in the future in a time where everything seems so unstable and stressful. But I think what I found is it's so important to meditate and reflect upon how lucky we are actually to be in a space where we're able to be educated and we can use those resources to help others and serve. But you're finding your classmates are stressed, right? Yeah. And uh, how do they deal with it? Do they, some of them take uh, stuff? Yeah. To calm down? <laughs> yes. Some some do. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, are, are you seeing problems with addictive patterns in young people? Mm-hmm. But you have none of those tendencies. No, I mean, of course, there. I think it's harder. It's easier said than done to take time and pause every day and meditate and practice these healthy um exercises because of course life is crazy and there's a lot to do in a day but I'm trying my best um and yeah meditation has helped me avoid addictive patterns and um in spite of peer pressure right there's Mm -hmm. peer pressure always always um so it doesn't matter what the environment is especially in, in your age group there's a lot of peer pressure but now you being who you are, are inspiring other people to maybe try another way to enjoy life, right? Mm. What are you dreaming about these days? What do you want to do after you finish or even during your college years? What are the biggest, what are your longings and aspirations right now? Um, Well, I want to just create all the time. So kind of being creative Um, I like singing a lot, I like making music, and that's always on my mind. I hope I'm able to do that forever. Um, I want to serve, I want to be involved in my community, and um, I love kids, so hopefully work with kids, and um, I don't know, the possibilities seem endless, and it's stressful to think about it too specifically, but I just want to be happy and help others. Be happy too. Yeah. Right. So I know you've done some amazing music. It's out there on YouTube as well, getting a lot of good reviews, right? <laughs> and I see that you have your musical instruments here to practice. Are you writing any new songs? Always. Always. Mm. Okay. Well, this is Tara Malika's daughter. Malika's my daughter. Uh, We're just sharing with you our experiences as a family and encouraging you to just take time to breathe, to feel, and once in a while stop thinking and just be you, just be present. This is what created uh, an amazing environment for my kids and now Malika's kids and Gotham's kids too. So thank you for joining us. Any last words, um, Taru? Um, Just I'm seeing hellos from all around the world. It's very exciting to feel connected and sending love to everyone. Okay, (laughs) just be you. If you want another amazing video highlighting excellence in the Indian community, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.